Welcome to my backyard. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my simple 800 watt solar panel system with battery backup. Here you can see the four 200 watt solar panels that make up my solar array. They're mounted to a frame made of unistrut and treated lumber. The frame is mounted to my existing fence posts, which made it really easy to install. The solar panels are connected to the unistrut using their existing mounting holes, and I use stainless steel and galvanized hardware to make sure it doesn't rust. Here's a close-up shot of some of that hardware. Next, let's take a look at how I connected the solar panels into the house. Right at the spot where the solar panel wiring enters the home, I installed a disconnect switch. That disconnect switch runs the PV wire through conduit into my basement. In the basement, the PV wire comes out and runs down into my inverter and battery bank. I built the system using a Blue Eddy AC300 and B300 system. The AC300 is a 3000 watt inverter and the B300 is a three kilowatt hour battery pack. Let's take a closer look at the screen. At the time of shooting this video, you can see that my battery's state of charge is 52%. The AC load on the system was 91 watts and the solar panels were generating 617 watts. Anything that I want to power from the system plugs into the Blue Eddy AC300 on top in this picture. Right now, you can see the yellow cord. That connects to my refrigerator, which I run pretty much 24-7 off the solar panels and this battery backup system. So that's it. As you can see, it's a pretty simple setup. The number one question people ask me about it is, how much money do those solar panels save you every year? I usually tell them, based on my electrical rates here in Kentucky, they generate about 90 bucks worth of electricity per year. Now you could definitely save a lot more if you live in a state with higher electrical costs. But the electrical savings aren't the number one benefit. The main benefit is having a solar powered battery backup system for my home that's available in the event of a power outage. I really like having that. It gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that I can generate my own electricity and run things around the house in the event of an emergency. I hope this walkthrough is helpful for you and hopefully it gave you some ideas that you could use in the system that you're building. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.